Whether you're building an application or you're running complex infrastructure for a large corporation, you'll eventually encounter tasks that need to be successfully repeated again and again. And that's where Ansible comes into play, and we're going to talk about all of that right now. Ansible is an open source tool backed by Red Hat since 2015 that gives you the ability to control and configure multiple servers from one single location. So instead of having to go into each server and manually configuring them, you can automate all of your tasks. For example, if you watched our video on what is a database and you've tried configuring a database before, you know that it involves a few different steps. Number one, you have to install the database management system. Then you have to set up a username and password with the correct user permissions. And then finally, you have to configure your application to connect to your newly created database. Now you can configure all those steps once in Ansible, and then you can run them countless times in exactly the same way. This is huge for reducing the potential of human error while letting you scale quickly to handle demand and automate application deployments. Now, there are alternatives to Ansible, such as Puppet, Chef, and Salt, but Ansible is oftentimes regarded as a simpler tool to use, which can be very attractive for beginners. Why is it simpler, you ask? Well, because it uses YAML to describe your automation jobs, which is very easy to learn because it looks a lot like plain English. It is also lightweight, which means it doesn't require a lot of computer resources to run. And for example, Ansible only requires SSH access to run commands on the servers that it manages, compared to the alternative tools, which require that you install an agent on all of those servers in order to communicate with them. Now, what's great is that Ansible has a free version available, but if you need access to more advanced features, there is a paid version of Ansible that provides you with features like an Ansible dashboard with real-time monitoring, multi-playbook workflows, scheduling jobs, and others. But there's even more that we couldn't possibly cover in this quick video, like Ansible playbooks, or even how to install and deploy Ansible. But you can do all of that and more in our free Ansible Quick Start course on Linux Academy right now. On top of all that, you'll get access to all of our Ansible hands-on labs so that you can practice using it in real-world environments. We had multiple new courses and hands-on labs come out this week, along with an update on an upcoming study group, so check out the weekly update blog for more info on that. And if you want more videos like this, let us know by liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching and see you next time.